talk about uh, uh, layout, uh, layout, layout decisions, layout, layout of an organization, layout of offices, uh, even layout of, of a country, how different things can affect or impact the layout decisions in operations and production and so on. Well, some friends like Christina is saying no impact on her on her life. Maybe she's having normal operating hours, but for other people, maybe uh, things have changed. So we are going to talk about layout and see how the how the discussion goes. Uh, so, uh, uh, you already know that uh, even before coronavirus, COVID-19, uh, the the companies were uh, trying to um, the companies were trying to uh, change the layout, uh, change the structure uh, of the of the organization, how they put in different processes and policies, and try to think about some of the discussions we had, uh, not directly linked with layout, but somehow they had some connections when we were meeting in class. Try to think about those, uh, but particularly try to think about how maybe maybe coronavirus covid 19 has impacted the layout uh, particularly i would be very interested to have a have a discussion uh, have a chat on what would be the future like uh, after the pandemic is over whenever after three months two months six months in some point in time it will be over so at that time uh, how how the layout and how the structure of offices uh, is going to change and so on on uh, I'm going to show you maybe a couple of a uh, couple of uh, readings which which I was which I was looking at for example this one uh, which you can see on your on your screen now coronavirus crisis could lead to office layout changes lifestyle yeah so it will change the lifestyle of people how they are how they have been working um, it is going to change even the look uh, of the offices um, we will also talk about some of the things which were very hot in the past for example uh, hot hot desks and uh, uh, open space those type of things so this is this is an article by boston herald coronavirus crisis could lead uh, to this layout changes for example look at this picture uh, it's quite a, this is kind of open space uh, look at the uh, seating structure how far people are going to sit on these on these chairs uh, also pay attention to things like uh, this is not a fixed uh, spot uh, these are movable chairs chairs and I am. I, I can see that even the desks, uh, they are they are movable. They are not fixed. Uh, quite a big space they have in this office, which the picture they are using, Boston Herald. Uh, lighting is not an issue. Enough space, so they can move a little bit. Uh, they can adjust and so on. But think about the think about the 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 other type of places. For example, remember the conversation we had in one of the classes where I was talking about. Uh, my visit to some some office and they had an open space and they had cubicles which were very close even if you don't remember that conversation you guys have seen these cubicles one after another uh, simultaneously very small small uh, spaces to uh, to work on uh, how that can uh, spread the coronavirus and so on this recently thing about the about the call centers in Jamaica, uh, you guys know. So call centers are like you know in the close proximity. So try to think about think about this. And as I am speaking, please uh, try start reflecting on this because we would like to have a very good discussion on this topic. I am just laying some uh, background, but I don't intend to talk myself. I want your feedback, and together we can develop some understanding going forward towards layout how they will change impact of uh, coronavirus how even other things like health lifestyles and so on but this is one of the many which i picked for you uh, i will post the 
post these links which i am showing you uh, so uh, do not worry about about the about the links uh, we can look at some of the other things for example this is uh, this is a news story uh, from uh, fox news uh, and uh, you can see you can you can read um, and these are new uh, latest news i I've, i've been uh, looking at uh, four days ago a uh, natural light uh, fresh air could keep corona virus out of workplaces scientist suggest well we don't know uh, what is what is what is going to going to happen uh, if this is true or not but definitely natural light is is something which uh, which is good like even in your offices you would Uh, you would you could think that anyone who has uh, who has a office or sitting space which is close to window where you can look out uh, even in up to the parking lot or uh, or some greenery or something outside it is it is better than not having any any window or anything in the office and fresh air of course it it increases your uh, oxygen level more oxygen your productivity increase and 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 so on uh, uh well they have a they have a newscaster who is uh, covering this story uh i'm not going to show that in class right now but this is the sense of it these things are good so maybe some uh, health health uh, health wise also you can you can you can think about think about this this corona virus will affect home design trends so not just don't just limit the discussion when we start to uh just office spaces and work uh think about homes how it is going to change i'm not going to show you what they are saying because we are going to have our own discussion and we are going to think our on our own looking at our own circumstances in jamaica and try to make some uh, some sense of this but uh these type of things uh people are talking around the world how how various design how various structures uh are going to change because going forward because of because of this this corona virus even when it is it is it is it is it is over uh look at this one uh this is express news um uh, interesting website uh they are covering this story how will corona virus change offices and they are giving us some ideas for our discussion think new new type of seating Uh, we spoke a little bit about this like movable chairs and stuff like that but there is more to that and i would like to understand that from you guys also more cleaning uh, and this this one i am really liking this one uh, please reflect on this one uh, hands free hands free high uh, hands free tech uh, that is very very interesting uh, and th- try to think about other th- even when we started our semester if you can think about that Uh, we started with artificial intelligence 5g and so on and you guys gave a uh, very good examples in in that class if i can recall uh, you guys were talking about uh, um self self driving cars and so on and we were talking about hand gestures uh, to increase the volume in the car uh, to do anything you were they were using hand gest- gestures not necessarily touching so those things are already there uh and they are going to maybe come uh in our offices and so on uh, so forth uh, the technology might be uh, a little bit uh, more expensive at this point in time maybe uh, but over a period of time uh, you, we know that that the technology when it comes it is expensive but over a period of time uh it becomes more affordable and and so on uh again you would see this this a lot like this this is what i was talking about hot desking uh i have highlighted that if you are not familiar with the term i'm sure you are but if they, they if you if you forgot or it uh went out of uh, your memory just google search and try to understand what what hot desks are yeah essentially these are desks where anyone can come and work uh, they are not necessarily assigned to uh to someone uh but anyways i don't want to keep on talking about that uh you know i like to interact with you guys and so on so let's let's start uh, our discussion on this and please uh, uh be vocal uh so essentially the 
this is one story we can start with this future of work how remote work will change uh, office design so now um, uh, people across organizations across the globe uh, they have asked people to work uh, from from their from their uh, from their home uh, this has a great implication so start from there uh, and then we will see uh, how uh, our discussion we will go and uh, in the later part of discussion we will definitely try to think how uh, or may, um, what do you guys think is coronavirus uh, going to uh, give lasting impact on uh, uh, on the layout how we work and so on so forth try to think about you know um, people might want to give less less salary uh, because uh, uh, now people will be maybe working from home or maybe they should give more salary because you have to manage uh, working from home it can be a challenge and so on anyways i'm i'm opening the forum so uh, let's let's try to have some discussion layout what well, I guess give any thoughts and then we will see how how we can build uh, on that. Yes, please go ahead. Perspective, sir. Since the whole Corona thing, in the banks, first time, well, at this branch, we didn't have any glass protectors in front of us, but now they've installed plexiglass that separates us from the customers as well as us, the tellers ourselves. So in between us, there are these really, really, really tall glass that we can't really, in the beginning, we couldn't really breathe because they can't get any air in there, but they say they're keeping us safe. So that's the change we have really recognized as well as persons. There are limited number of persons in the bank and most transactions are being changed to um, online sources or the ABMs are being fitted so that in branch transactions are done at the machines and not at the teller. You guys just uh, stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the difficult yeah. part, it's also is, difficult yeah. because with the glass that they cut large holes in it, so we can't really hear what the customer is saying. So when you come into the bank, everybody is shouting. So the customer wants to withdraw a large sum of money. Sometimes I'm like, so you want to withdraw 100 though? That's 100 and you know, they still can't hear you, but people next year can hear you. So it has its challenges. Yeah, very, very interesting, very interesting and creating more opportunities for thieves. Now they can overhear, you know, what is how much yeah. money the person you and you know, yeah. he's not comfortable with that. So see, this is, there's some opportunities in that. Uh, go ahead, please. From what I understood in regards to the call center situations in Jamaica, they tried to fit as many persons as they could on each floor while providing the necessary tools for them to work. But that that allowed somebody to be rather close to you. I worked in one and for a month or two and person rather close. Um, the layout I'm hearing now is that they've like they have to put at least two empty desk space between each person just so that that well this was before the um the government called for a lot of them to be shut down but that's what they had been doing and a lot of them weren't actually doing that even that because i heard that certain call centers um pretended when the government was inspecting only to like they had half of the staff disappear only to come back when the government officials left. But um, they sh what they should have done is just, this should have been something that was done to provide persons with more space from the beginning. But they had persons pretty close. So I, I believe in the layout will be affected where no on from no on. Off in the, in the sense uh, of, you know what I mean, yeah? So uh, they are like vulnerable in the, in the, in the society, yeah? So these people, they, Although they know that it can be dangerous, but still they cannot afford to uh, to not work. Uh, so they go there and then the call center is also trying to maximize uh, their profits or maybe not understanding the uh, because of the nature of this this disease. They don't really understand if someone has it yet or not. It shows up after a period of time. And by that time, other people are already affected uh, with this. So think about this. Uh, Jamaica was uh, generally uh, doing fine 
if you compare it with other countries before this but now look at that the numbers have started uh, increase increase uh, increasing uh, i'm not sure if it has some link with that call center but uh, people are saying that it has some link with that and uh, so that type of a thing please think about that that vulnerable people who really have to work a uh, vulnerable people who really have to come out um every day maybe to earn some uh, some living hassle and and you know uh, 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 find some work uh, uh through hustling and so on so forth uh, they have to if they don't they don't have some some income which they can use uh maybe some maybe we can have that luxury we might have been saving something in our account so we can maybe survive even for for uh, many of us it can be a challenge but try to think about these vulnerable people uh who are on their own uh, and even the demography of our society uh many uh many uh, uv students they they necessarily don't have family in the sense who are going to Uh, support them financially not that they don't want to it is just that their money is also tight uh, because of overall economic climate uh, so they have to now they were doing some you know uh, 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 find some work uh, through hustling and so on so forth uh, they have to if they don't they don't have some some income which they can use uh maybe some maybe we can have that luxury we might have been saving something in our account so we can maybe survive even for for uh, many of us it can be a challenge but try to think about these vulnerable people uh who are on their own uh, and even the demography of our society uh many uh, many uh, uv students they they necessarily don't have family in the sense who are going to Uh, support them financially not that they don't want to it is just that their money is also tight uh, because of overall economic climate uh, so they have to now they were doing some jobs like call center and so on so forth now they might not be able to uh, maybe do the job or maybe they will be fearful and especially fear uh, this is also very i was reading some uh, some uh some scientific study and they were saying uh i don't know if it is true or not but they they are they say that this is this is true like science based something uh, we can talk about that uh and we can form some opinion that uh, this fear factor when you when you are fearful or you are anxious or you are depressed and so on it it has some connection with your immune system uh, uh, uh your immunity level can go down in your body because you are stressed and fearful and so on uh, uh and then if you are immune if your immune system is down then the chance for getting some disease is is more more high i don't know but this is something which which i was reading uh um, just to avoid any other form of disease i guess so i think it's going to change uh in regards to the well alorica the call center they said that wasn't adhering to the rules of the government it is circulating that they share everything so they share headsets they share stations and they share seats although they were aware of the whole coronavirus so it would have seemed that management was not so proactive so management wasn't proactive and to be honest based on what i heard from my managers they were saying that the the bpo sector they were given some um regulations and they were, they were given a timeline in which they were supposed to enforce social distancing and i guess alarica did not adhere to that so hence the result for the whole uh, transmission of the disease very good point like you know not being proactive uh, and then particularly this point about sharing uh, all the desks chairs and so on people are touching new people are coming very easily that climate can can spread the uh, covid 19 that is the same thing with uh, with that concept of hot desk uh, because people share uh, those rooms and those chairs again and again anyone can come and go in that room and use the use the facility uh 
so uh, and then uh, government was also giving them some time to adjust uh, now this is this is this is the problem here because now government uh, government can of course do do anything they can they can order that okay no bpo uh, just uh, uh, you cannot open call centers and so on they can do that uh, but there is a cost of every action and the cost of these type of actions can be very high uh, particularly for our economy where uh, we are i don't know if i should say but i have a feeling that we are too heavily dependent on these type of uh, foreign investments if we can call these foreign investments uh, like uh, uh, bpo uh, call centers and so many people work there and uh, try to earn some living so we are dependent on that too much uh, so that is why maybe honorable prime minister uh, of course he knew that he can he can turn uh, he can close them but he did not want to because too much burden on the on the society so economic activity should go on so th these are difficult decisions it is not fault of any any government or or anyone uh, it is it is just that people have to earn a living and if 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 country is not very rich and they cannot uh, send uh, uh, food uh, to people uh, to their doorsteps and stuff like that some countries are trying to do those type of things but again need a lot of uh, resources to do that so no country is able to uh, really really do that thing trillions of dollars uh, us is pumping in their economy and we are looking at uh, what is happening germany a lot of euros they are putting in in the in the economy but again the problems are are there so uh, caroline mentioned proactivity and the challenge of governments they they know that this layout can uh, damage uh, but they cannot change the layout and and so on uh, good points what else give me some more points please go ahead guys I noticed something that I was surprised by. A lot of countries, a lot of companies pushed for the work from home now that it is, they have no option when this should have, could have been in place long before now. Because even with call centers, some, I, I can say Ibex for sure, is now allowing persons to work from home, which is something that I particularly have been interested in for long before now because we never like people to work. In with but they know a lot of persons weren't allowing it but know that it is either that or no work at all it's a lot of persons are making the necessary effort for their workers to be trained to be able to work from home have the necessary equipment and all of that and that may be something that is continued even after the coronavirus has nope. disappeared from nope. our minds and our lives again this is this is i think this is this is gold this is excellent point and i'm just getting jealous that why i did people uh, people have been talking about because of their situations that let them work from home uh, they have children or they have elderly people or whatever the situation is there uh, they were asking their uh, their bosses that we can do it from home but uh, most of the uh, businesses they would not encourage that uh, in, in 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 at least in in kingston they would want you to come at 8 or 8 30 or even 10 15 minutes before if possible and they are not happy if, if you are coming in late generally speaking generally speaking because in some companies for not for all staff of course as you are higher in the rank there is some leniency but still for many companies you have to log in and log out your time and so on they were not really happy with uh, with giving them the flexibility to uh, to work from home but now look at this as our friend very rightly mentioned now is it, it is either work from home or no work so now everyone is giving you the chance to okay you can work from home and so on but look at this i'm sure if this is the first time uh, we are we are going to just like in anything else in life when we do it for the first time there is a learning dip it takes time to really learn uh, whatever is happening and then over a period of time you uh, you build your competency so just just like anything else in life uh, this uh, working from home uh, you have to build some competency how you are going to work where you are going to sit uh, not just you uh, 
your family they also need to understand that yes you are you are at home uh, but uh, uh, you have to work so yes you are available uh, but uh, uh, maybe you have to work also uh, or just work depending on what is happening because you uh, many times you have to meet the deadlines and 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 so on so companies never tried that and uh, let me talk about this medium which which we which we which we are which we are using uh, this facility which we are using to engage i am talking with you and you guys are talking with with me and we are trying to interact and so on uh, we never tried this before why not why we never tried this before this 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 facility was available so in good times when we could go to campus and meet face to face why university of west indies did not say that okay once every month uh, you can conduct a class in this using this forum just once a month or maybe once every two months or three times two times per semester or even one or two times uh, per semester what that would have done is that in good times when everything is fine both sides you guys and my side both of us would have learned how to engage in this environment and so on in good times because the idea is that you prepare for bad times in good in good times in in good times you enjoy yourself and everything but you have to for foresee what can go wrong and prepare for that in good times when things are fine because at that time your mind is working in a in a better way but think about this now now we have to do this so i'm sure you will see the consequences of this uh, you are just taking maybe three classes so not a lot of lectures and just one one saturday but uh, some courses are facing some challenges uh, more things are happening uh, so not trying to say that it is anyone's fault uh, i'm not saying that but what i'm trying to say is that just like the other example which uh, which our friend gave that companies uh, workers wanted to work from home but company said no if they would have said yes they did not have have to say yes for for the whole month yes maybe one day two day in a in a month or in, in whatever so people get a hang of that and see what is happening uh, and then the and the, and then the boss could also uh, analyze the workers that uh, which are which are the ones who can work well from home uh, which ones cannot so that type of flexibility would have brought maybe maybe it would have brought uh, the the worker and the boss a little bit closer maybe if there is no is not sure shot but you maybe feel good about working you know in that organization same way uh, this example which i which i gave uh, it would have been it would have been very good if if uv and not just uv universities across the globe only the universities which are into online uh, education a lot they are good into uh, these type of interactions and so on and even the even the facilitators who have been doing uh, online activities and so on they are good in these type of things others are going to face challenges of course not because they are not smart or anything or or not because this is this is hard or anything but it is just that they have not done it before by this time semester done yeah so this is these these are very deep very deep questions to think about uh and nothing is lost right now nothing is lost because we have our life ahead of us and we always learn from from our mistakes uh we should we should not always we should learn from our mistakes so going forward uh universities whatever they have done that is that is fine but personally speaking because this is production and operation management when we come into that a situation we are where we have 2 3 5 10 people under us we are operating some some business or something 
we have to foresee these type of things and we have to find some ways that people learn the skills when things are right so the transition is 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 easier and faster yeah uh, very good point yeah anyone else please go ahead guys please that, um, after all this the, the economy is going to be in a bad state but really i am being optimistic here i'm thinking that after all this i think we will more be adhering or adopting to a talentism culture where there is going to be a lot of small business men because there are a lot of persons unemployed and they're trying to figure out a way out there's going to be a lot of small business men utilizing their skills and their talents versus capitalism where okay you have the, the bigger businesses a lot of persons are going to not have enough faith invested in these small businesses because like myself for myself example um using myself as an example uh it was maybe the third week my company cut five percent of our pay across the board and i think that that was sort of ridiculous because it was very early to do that and right now i'm thinking of a way out how not to be an employee because at this time it is a very um I don't know what word to use, but being an employee for me, being an employee right now, I honestly, it's scary because anything can happen. Versus, if I was utilizing my talents, utilizing my skill, having my own thing, I would, I would have been in a better position, a better situation. So I think that after all this, um, our economy it is going to change. It's going to be more on the talentism side. I was reading an article about. Are you still hearing me? Yes, yes, Hello? of course we can hear you. We yes, can hear I was you. reading Please an try. article. I was reading an article about talentism versus capitalism, and they were saying that the a lot of first world countries they they have adopted to talentism. So I think that is going to be the case for Jamaica. And also I must add um I in regards to tourism tourism one or main um industry being in the situation it is in and like because tourism is down we are saying oh gosh the economy I don't understand how for so many decades we have depended so much on tourism when there are a lot of other industries that could have been on the front page. So I think that after this, those industries like agriculture and um, other stuff, agriculture, education, those industries will be, I think that we'll survive this. It's going to, our economy will change, but for the better, for the best. That's all. Very good, excellent points, and that is that is the way uh, one should be thinking. Um, that you know, uh, although uh, it's a it's a bad situation, coronavirus, not only for us, for all the world, this is a is a tight situation. But one should always keep keep hope and look at the positive side. In doing that, although our friend was positive, she highlighted a couple of very interesting points. Uh, just like uh, I mentioned a while ago, there's too much reliance on on BPOs, uh, more and more BPOs and thinking that this is going to uh, make us more prosperous and, and so on. I should not be using the word prosperous if it would be linked with something. Uh, but, but anyways, you guys know what I, what I mean. We discussed it in, in our discussion also. Uh, same way uh, as our, uh, friend is, uh, our friend is mentioning tourism. For many years we have been uh, dependent and still are dependent on tourism. And think about uh, what will happen to tourism industry now. Uh, let's say coronavirus uh, goes away after two months, three months, whenever six months. Eventually, it will go away, uh, and there are no reported cases of coronavirus in Jamaica. And let's say in 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 three months, six months, uh, we are we are COVID-19 free uh, country, uh, and no new case case comes comes in that is fine uh, but think about who comes as a, as a tourist uh, in Jamaica 
uh, generally well people from across the globe come but uh, most of the time they are coming from uh, US uh, maybe Canada uh, maybe UK and uh, these economies USA UK they uh, they would they might take a little bit time to recover from uh, from the damage uh, COVID-19 is is doing and continues to do uh, in those in those economies uh, plus the uh, plus people would not be in that state of mind to to really come out uh, maybe uh, because of various things uh, and you guys know it know it better what can be some of the challenges they will be facing their own economic challenges people will be losing their job in that time when you when you are losing uh, your job and you are dependent on your savings uh, you might not want to travel so uh, I don't know uh, please help me answer this question uh, how how much time do you think uh, that uh, 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 it will take for tourism sector to recover in Jamaica now this crisis is here hotel industry is closed you know the situation of COVID-19 in the world how much time do you think that it will take uh, for tourism industry in Jamaica to recover? Uh, what What is your guess? Uh, what do you think? Give me some timeline. Uh, a month, a year. Uh, what do you think? Please go ahead. May it take about two to five years. Um, there is a hotel in St. Elizabeth, in St. Elizabeth, by the name of Jake, I think it's Jake, and they're currently using it as a corona facility. So that may take some time to get sanitized and then to you know, re remarket the business and so forth to so, um, travelers. So it may take a while. Very, very. Uh, well, we need to think about this point. Like, you know, our friend is saying may something like two years to five years. Uh, what What do you guys think? Uh, anyone else? How much time you think it can it can take for tourism industry to revive back uh, in Jamaica? How much time do you think? Give me some more figures. So, one friend is saying two to five years. Uh, sir, I believe that it might take two years or uh, two years or so because um, remember that in order for the tourism sector to recover, it, tourism actually feeds off other countries. So um, it, this is a worldwide pandemic and everyone is facing, going to face an economic crisis. So I think it all depends on um, how well the world recover from COVID before the, the tourism economy start to um, recover. That's what I think. Um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for your thanks for your contribution. Anyone else want to say something? How much time do you think that? So there is a consensus type of thing that I also think that it it won't recover before two years. And our friend is saying two years or so. So far so I would say maybe three years. He's he's saying so. Three years, two to five years, two to three years for me, at least. To begin with, uh, any other thoughts? What do you guys think? We can take this further a little bit in terms of layout. How? What should? What should government of Jamaica uh, do? Because we are so much dependent on, on uh, first these call centers are kind of you know locked down now. Uh, they will try to. Uh, Bring in some restrictions to some extent, and but that was not that is that is maybe not that heavy as heavy as tourism. So tourism industry definitely we're not going to see any any tourist next two years, three years, and our economy is too much dependent on on that. Uh, so no no money no no money coming from from tourism. Maybe the money which which people people send to their families in Jamaica from overseas, from USA, UK. Maybe that will also decrease because of the situation they will be facing in their own countries. So foreign 
income coming to Jamaicans, that also is going to decrease. Tourism is also going to decrease. Yes, anyone want to say something? Um, sir, I think the tourism could be used to promote our agriculture sector, and then we could improve in our exports, the food that we export, because I don't see tourism coming back for now. Yes, very interesting uh, point. Collaboration, some type of. So she, our friend is talking about agriculture, and uh, think about this, uh, this, uh, this Mary, Mary Jana, ganja, cannabis, uh, medical use of of this. Uh, we have that in good quality in, in in Jamaica. So maybe something on that in terms of some research and development, or some exportation, or something like that. That can be very interesting because a lot of countries are uh, using that also uh, in terms of so for agriculture that came although it is maybe not agriculture but it's some type of plant or bush so yes so some type of thinking needs to be done uh, for that so innovation uh, our friend was talking about uh, when she gave us the pointer for uh, for tourism that it is. Uh, it might take two to five years for, to recover. Uh, with the innovate, with innovation, something is coming in my mind, which I, which I read. I was reading this uh, HBR article, and they were saying that uh, innovation uh, is more in in bad times when uh, when you are suppressed and when there is uh, when there is uh, when there is not many things good going on. And that is the time when human brain really start working really start engaging that what else I can do just like many of you many of many of us uh, we are maybe uh, reflecting on the type of work we have been doing uh, how we can learn new skills which would be more relevant in the new layout which will come out in the organizations after after COVID-19 uh, and not, not, not using our our resources properly maybe th that thing sometimes you know I think about that so as I'm thinking about innovation, I'm also thinking that we maybe we did not. I don't know. You you guys would know better. It's my personal opinion that maybe we did not maximize from uh, from our le legends like like you know like uh, like like Honorable Bolt. Uh, when I when I go to Europe, uh, I see that a lot of following is there. A lot of businesses can be generated uh, in. In that regard, of course, uh, Honorable Bolt is, is is doing his own businesses, business ventures, and stuff like that. But as a as a nation, uh, we can gain a lot of uh, um, mileage from 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 our celebrities. And it's not just him; many other in various uh, various stages in their career. And uh, even these in songs, uh, this this new artist, uh, not not necessarily new new, but this coffee. Uh, she has done very well in in the in the international scene. So maybe government should try to think about these things. Not saying that they are not really thinking about these things, but uh, but yes. Any other thoughts on? Let's try to come back to layout particularly. Uh, so the question of discussion is uh, that what do you think? How layout of various companies, organizations are going to change in the future? Uh, once coronavirus is over, uh, how what would be the impact on the layout, uh, or in other sense, how should we prepare for that type of layout which you are seeing in your, of course, in your industry and and like saying that my team is working 100% uh, from home. Uh, the bank she works at uh, two years ago was focused on transforming workspaces to the hot desk uh, ecosystem. Since the impact of the coronavirus, they are now seeing the benefits of having persons work from home and are now thinking about a work from home allowance to help you maintain your office space. This is very interesting. So uh, just like you have different allowances when you use your when you use your car uh, to travel for work for business, they give you some allowance for for your car or when you use your own phone, they give you some allowance. Uh, there would be some allowance. Uh, to maintain and leo it was just i realized how now most persons and most industries they're realizing that 
persons can work from home and areas where persons can work for, from home, they can also replace them with machines. So do you think about, do you think the operation manager position in a few years will become obsolete since really and truly we don't need a person managing day-to-day -day operations but we can just program machines to do so instead? Uh, do you think that these type of jobs can be replaced where people are now working at home? Uh, what do you guys think? What will happen? That is interesting. And if that happens, what would be the impact on the on the layout of the? This is of course part of layout discussion. That you know, layout from human to machine interface. Yeah. What do you guys think? And don't just limit layout to you know this uh, this conversation which we are having. It is it is also linked with other things. For example, infrastructure. Uh, think about the the highway we have uh, going out of uh, uh, Kingston. I, I think I gave this example earlier also in in one of the session uh, that when you are when you are entering on the highway, uh, there is no human being. You just press the button and you get the card. And when you are exiting, of course, there is someone because they have to collect the collect the money. So layout has changed. You have a machine. You just press the button. You take the card and you go on. Same way the think about conversations we had when you guys were telling me about about uh, quick cash uh, we're drawing quick cash from mm -hmm. the from the ATM machine where and then you guys mentioned that that a little I, I don't know if it is a glitch or what but of course a place to Im make improvement that uh, the quick cash mentioned like 1000 4000 whatever is the figure for which you will get when you press quick cash so people who want more money they uh, they can enter uh, manually the in the in the other format yeah, so please go ahead, talk about these things, technology and so on. Another one, Miami Herald, uh, they are saying that, they are asking us the question, which we are trying to reflect on in our discussion also, could coronavirus change future office needs? Uh, what would be needed in the office? Uh, how would be the... Uh, how would you enter in the office? What would be some protocols which you would have to take? Uh, how all the changes which 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 may happen as we are trying to discuss them, some of them and you can also read about them online. Uh, how they will impact our relationship uh, in the offices? That is again very interesting question to really think about because when the layout will change, uh, what would what would how that will uh, impact the the personal relationship uh, in in terms of you know work colleagues and so on how how that would uh, turn out please think about that uh, this is a company we work I think you should uh, you should read about read about this company uh, we work uh, you can Google it and and so on uh, we work proposes uh, post corona was uh, coronavirus changes to shared office layout layouts yeah so this is a one business which is already proposing some changes that after coronavirus companies have started thinking about these things uh, the plan uh, the plan calls for buffer seating yeah please google this and try to understand what what they are talking about sanitizer stations in common rooms and one way hallway traffic pattern to avoid bottlenecks yeah, read this article very interesting uh, I enjoyed reading reading this one so maybe make note of this we work if you just post if you just Google uh, we work and uh, coronavirus you will see all the stories which they are uh, trying to look okay look at this one uh, designing designing offices and I would really uh, like to talk about so please let's let's please be vocal you know this time uh, because I am sure that you guys can uh, you guys can say something on this designing offices uh, restaurants and uh, grocery stores in the age of coronavirus uh, architects are rethinking commercial and public spaces in an effort to prevent viral spread, spread and so on. Grocery stores I would like to talk about uh, because almost all of us have, have some chance to go 
uh, to grocery stores uh, markets to buy our groceries and stuff like that uh, so what do you think uh, based on your experience uh, here in jamaica how grocery stores could uh, change the layout what are some of the changes you can recommend to uh, the local grocery stores based on our uh, climate our culture uh, how we how we shop uh, what are some of the things uh, they can do which maybe they are doing or maybe they have not done it uh, yet uh, so give some recommendations uh, in terms of uh, layout uh, of grocery stores uh, which can help us in our current scenario please go ahead hi sir are you hearing me yes i am hearing you perfectly fine once you open your mic we can hear you yes okay all right i work at a hospital so what has been changed in terms of entrance upon the facility is that there is a pre-screening area so you have um the markers that keep everybody about three or four feet apart you have doctors and nurses at the front there is a sanitization area there is a sink um with soap um um and you your temperature is checked you are given a band on your wrist so where employees are separated from the public persons who are coming into the facility so it's a different color band for employees versus a different color band for outside persons and your temperature is checked um, outside persons are given a mask there's a sanitization um, area right as you enter the front and there's only one entrance so every other um, area is closed off so there's only one entrance is through the pre-screening area so that has been different since this has happened so that's how it is now moving forward yeah this is excellent and thanks very much for this uh, maybe similar practices uh, should be uh, uh, should be considered in almost any other business also even in grocery stores wherever uh, uh, i'm seeing some of the some of the business places they keep their their uh, they keep only one uh, door for for entry uh, although they have multiple doors they had er multiple doors earlier but now they only have one one entrance and they keep it locked uh, and uh, when someone comes they they open it and they sanitize them like the spray them and whatever they have to do uh, so i think that is an interesting practice uh, because if you have uh, if you have limited staff and you don't have someone assigned uh, even if the person is assigned and they are doing multiple jobs uh, on the on the entrance uh, it is a good practice to keep it locked uh, so if the person is away doing some job they can quickly come come back and uh, so that uh, so in in the case that even if one person comes in and not sanitized we don't know maybe that person has so maybe maybe you can you can share something like you know maybe you went to some grocery store and you saw them doing uh, something interesting which which is which maybe we can take as a best practices which which maybe other uh, grocery stores are not doing but you think that uh, uh, they should do some best practices which you can identify which uh, which grocery stores or uh, these type of places where a lot of activities there uh, you could identify uh, or you could suggest that okay they should be doing this in terms of improving their layout and so on anything on that some best practice or something you saw and you appreciate that 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 business is doing that you can talk about anything it does not has to be a grocery store We are considered to be essential, so we have to be at work and we can't turn away anyone. Something that I see that they are doing that I think should have been done a long time ago was limit the amount of persons that can access the office at any given time before any amount of persons will just come in. And even when you tell them not to, they will still come and act as if, well, you can't turn me away. But no, they limit the amount of seating in the office, so only two persons can be seated, seated in the office at any given time. 
and they have to sanitize as they approach and also get their temperature checked. They are more compliant now, given the situation that's happening, but before that was not so. So I really appreciate that they are taking this thing a little bit more seriously. Yes, thanks for this point. And this is this is some dilemma, of, you know. This across the across the globe, we are we are seeing this that you know, uh, companies, organizations, in the in the earlier part when when the when the number is low for COVID nineteen, people are taking taking it easy and stuff like that. Uh, and then when when something like uh, uh, this happens, the call center incident, then people start to engage engage more in this. Uh, so you would see definitely that in the in the early days, uh, uh, when people might have wanted to, you know, might uh, should have uh, should have used uh, uh, the the masks. Uh, no one was using, but over a period of time, you are you are seeing a little bit of you know improvement in that. Uh, more and more people are uh, wearing very mask and i understand that uh, who and uh, even our government and many governments across the globe uh, they are saying that uh, uh, you don't have to bear the mask and so on so forth uh, uh, so i don't want to comment on 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 that but i do want to tell you that uh, the countries which successfully dealt with this challenge uh, korea china and so on that part of the world uh, you can check this out uh, this is a fact that uh, uh, that they used a mask uh, just like social distancing. Uh, they really did, and uh, even the people who were who were uh, critical in in curing uh, the earlier diseases. If you listen to uh, their interviews, uh, these Chinese uh, doctors, uh, uh, they are telling yeah. that. Uh, uh, some of them are even saying uh, that this is a nonsense not to wear mask. But anyway, I'm not wearing mask myself. Uh, most of you are maybe not wearing mask all the time. Uh, but still, you know, this is these type of things happen. And then if this thing goes up, then we will see more and more people will start wearing mask even in Jamaica. Although maybe that is not our culture to wear mask or whatever. Not in these situations. Uh, um, uh, yeah. So yes, please go ahead. Some other pointers which you can talk about. Any best? Okay. As as you guys are maybe thinking about what you what you would want to say, uh, let me show you some other stories also. This is, of course, you guys know about this. Uh, this is uh, this is Wall Street uh, Wall Street Journal, uh, and uh, you can look at this. Your open floor office could help spread coronavirus. So earlier, before the spread of uh, coronavirus, we were uh, the the world was very high uh, on open space uh, uh, type of environment. But now you are looking at these type of stories from Wall Street and other reputable uh, uh, outlets that you know this this type of arrangement could spread coronavirus so what we are trying to really say is that uh, this this pandemic pandemic uh, is is going to really uh, make uh, critical changes in 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 the layout how we work how we design workspace we spoke about hot desk we spoke we spoke about sharing um, our our equipment uh, some in some areas the cost will go high also because you have to maybe have more space uh, maybe what would happen to the to the layout of a call center uh, going forward? Uh, maybe and, and also you know maybe nothing will happen. You know maybe companies will say okay we'll we'll forget about whatever happened and and just just go back to their norm whatever they were doing before uh, uh, for obvious reasons because all of this change uh, in layout and so on will require a lot of work. Uh, will require a lot of resources uh, will require a lot of dedication leadership uh, intent uh, political will all of those things would be would be required and maybe countries like developing countries like ours uh, maybe 
would not be in a in a in a state where they can do all these things and maybe we will go back uh, to where we were uh, and not maybe learn anything substantial from from this uh, this this time where we can reflect and rethink uh, as some friends are talking about rebuilding skills learning new skills which when, which can keep us relevant uh, because think about this even if even if uh, uh, there were no coronavirus uh, we know that uh, the future of work is changing and will change we spoke about automation and those type of things so this, this is just uh, a new reminder for us that we really this is high time that we we need to uh, think about all these things uh, and make connections uh, so i was saying saying that maybe we will go back to our 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 past and maybe not not learn because of our limitations uh, but in that context uh, please google uh, go on youtube or something google uh, next uh, pandemic uh, and uh, bill gates uh, we know that bill gates is one of the uh, one of the successful businesses uh, business business people the uh, the world has seen uh, he has consistently been the richest man in the in the world uh, you might you might like him you might not like him that is another another story you might have a difference of, of opinion on the way he is working or, or he works or whatever uh, but one thing is for sure that he's a he's a smart guy uh, in his in his field uh, and and he is saying that there will be a next pandemic and it is not just him alone if you read those type of journals where uh, where these medical people talk about they are they have been talking about this thing that something like this is going to happen because of uh, how uh, the animals were were being kept in the markets in china uh, we might not be aware of that uh, not just china in that part of the world we might not be aware of uh, those because we were not reading about those things but if you search and you you will see that they these those type of stories were published uh, way back and uh, just like that now people are saying smart people are saying that something else will will come uh, so in these times uh, we really need to think so when the new pandemic comes maybe it will not come but if it comes uh, we need to have some lessons from this experience and implement that Im implement them so we can uh, deal in a better way uh, with the with the next pandemic and so on and so forth and this is very important also because think about this this pandemic started in in china how many people died in china can anyone give me some figures I think it's something over 3,000 persons died in China. I can double check though. Okay, so something like 3,000, 3,500, not, not 4,000. But maybe, you know, you want to exaggerate and make it 4,000, no problem. Some persons are saying that's not the true figure, so well, that's what was reported. Well, yes, some people will say that, you know, it was, they passed away. But in Italy, Spain, a lot of people died, yeah? But think about why lot of lot why why is the case that not a lot of people die in in China or Korea or in that part of the world? What is the reason? There can be many reasons, but one of the reason is that similar type of diseases they have hap they have happened in the past in those countries, and they knew how fast it can spread and what can happen, so they have paid the price in the earlier diseases when they were dealing with them so this time they had some knowledge from the past and they implemented that knowledge and the number was low on the other hand countries like not trying to you know speak against uh, these countries they did not know you know they did not know but other countries where the numbers are very high this is the first time these things are happening these are you know very advanced countries they are superpowers uh us uh but they maybe did not know maybe they thought that it will not happen and then these type of things happen so mm -hmm. it is high time that we reflect 
on uh, what we can learn in terms of layout, uh, what we can learn in terms of best practices. And all of this conversation is maybe, you know, maybe personally speaking, we might not be able to uh, make some change or something like that. But when we go in a position where uh, we become some type of operation manager or so on, or, or maybe we open our own company or something like that, who knows? Uh, we think about these things and prepare for these things uh, uh, a little bit earlier. Um, again, it is very easy to say, you know, uh, to prepare early. Uh, many times we cannot, you know, foresee what will happen. Challenges come in life. We can't really prepare uh, for all the challenges, but. Uh, from this opportunity, uh, I would say, uh, of of facing this this pandemic, uh, maybe we can we can learn something uh, from that. And so, if this if similar type of disease happens again in the future, uh, we are a little bit more prepared. Because think about this: if this goes away, which it will, and in next ten years, twenty years, uh, again something like this happen. Uh, do you think that government of Jamaica is going to be more lenient with uh, with places like call centers and so on? Uh, maybe not. They will not be because they have seen this. Uh, so they will, and they would have uh, this case that this happened. Remember, we let you guys work in the past, but things went out of hand. So this time we have to be more careful. Things like that. Look at this one. Open, open office, open space is a is a breeding ground for coronavirus, uh, and workers are freaked out. Uh, these call center type uh, of of places they are they are they fall under the category of open office. Yeah. So now look at look at this is a good good place to read articles. Uh, of course, uh, this is not; these are not research papers, but these are just rep reports. So this one, look at this, 11th of March, yeah, more than a month ago, there is this one that open office is a breeding ground for coronavirus, yeah. Uh, but then there are countries which did not do. Not that they did not want to do it; is just the economic situation where they cannot lock down. Uh, everything this is very interesting uh, uc davis uh, good educational place uh, they are saying that uh, they, they are talking about this review examines how building designs can influence uh, disease transmission so uh, i am sure that good universities uh, where they teach architect, uh, they are going to maybe have a course on this, that how to build that uh, the, the increase of uh, disease transmission is less, how to build homes that the disease transmission is less, how to build uh, working spaces uh, where disease transmission is, uh, is, is less, uh, this is going to happen. Uh, so this thing, and you will see, you know, uh, once coronavirus is over, you will see a lot of ac ac academic activity, a lot of conferences, a lot of talks. People are going to talk about this for a good period of time, I'm thinking. And this will impact, even if when it goes, it, it would have uh, left uh, a lasting impact on various things. Uh, as students, uh, it is going to impact our curriculum, I think. Uh, new things would be introduced or should be introduced. Uh, I gave you this example of architect, but you can relate uh, with business management and and so on. Any other thoughts which you think, you know, uh, we should have spoken about, but we did not really speak about that. Essentially, we were we were trying to discuss that. Uh, what are some of the things which which may be which can be done in terms of improving layout uh, so that uh, the disease transmission spread of coronavirus and these type of di diseases is less. That was one thing uh, we were trying to think about some best practices. You guys gave some of them and we were also trying to talk about uh, some way forward. Uh, that is maybe something which we should talk about a little bit. 
so we have we have had this discussion and i hope you guys were reading the 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 comments also uh, in the section uh, please say something for the way forward uh, what should be the way forward in terms of understanding layout decisions particular for operations management for production for operations management uh, what is the way forward in terms of layout design yeah way forward layout design for us as business managers operation managers plant managers any thoughts on that please okay as it relates to design i believe the new buzzword socially distance i believe operation managers and managers on a whole will take this into account they will have to take for example my workplace or customer service area that had to be transformed because we usually have customer service just lying out so we are now in discussion so we are trying to do it in a circular way. So when customers come in, they wouldn't have to be in such close proximity to each other. So with that in mind, so we have also thought about that. So it's almost as if we are thinking about the customers, if they are infected, maybe with a disease or anything, it would reduce the spread. But on the other hand, I'm looking at it and I'm saying there is going to be some amount of cost involved with this and maybe possibly layoff. But in the way forward, I believe it could be because we're talking about contact tracing. So take, for example, if a customer comes in and, for example, they are coughing or sneezing, you know, that would have to be taken into account. Do we do business with them or do we ask them to leave? But during this pandemic, we have been asking customers to leave. And that for me is unsustainable. The way forward is going to be the way we are operating before, but with more sanitation, more contact tracing, more disease mitigation. That's my belief. There's, thanks very much for this, uh, Chris. You really raised some of the pointers which maybe we did not talk about. For example, this this is good good point that we did speak about cost that it is going to go go up, but you linked it with layoff. So yes, of course, uh, it is a possibility that a lot of people would uh, uh, would be laid off because maybe the work, uh, maybe the economy would not be able to sustain a lot of uh, people uh, employed. And the comments you made for layout also very. Very good, pertinent comments. Thanks for that, Chris. Yes, anyone else? Uh, so again, I'm going to repeat my question so you guys can give some concluding thoughts. And then I have to look at some slides also. Uh, so I'm trying to ask that uh, based on this discussion and what have, based on what you know and what you have been reading, uh, what is the way forward in terms of designing layouts uh, for operations management? And don't just think about uh, uh, after, right after COVID-19 or in these times. Think a little bit beyond. Uh, like, for example, if, if a business want to plan uh, for next, let's say, five years, uh, of course, coronavirus will be over by five years, uh, God willing, of course. Uh, so in that, for that time, if you want to prepare, uh, what, what are some of the things we should keep in mind as operations manager? What should be the layout? Uh, of the of the business any any good practices anything you can say on that please go ahead media conferencing and those type of, of interactions they could invest in that for the future in order to have those kind of meeting facilities especially in government where they don't have those kind of things Very good, excellent point. That is definitely part of layout. And we did not speak about that. Thanks very much for this point. So companies were not, because they were not into uh, a lot, uh, giving us a chance to work from home, uh, they were not investing in these type of technologies or they did not, uh, even the companies which were in these, in these uh, uh, 
in these uh, in, in this field for example zoom uh, zoom is a company which is which is which is which is in this field they give you a uh, 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 a software where you can, uh, without paying, you can uh, you can uh, interact in an online environment. Uh, they have some restriction like time limit and so on, but it's a good software. Companies use it. Uh, University of West Indies has been using it for a good point, a uh, good amount of time. Uh, but uh, if you read the news stories on Zoom, uh, you will know that uh, uh, people are talking about some security breaches and stuff like that. Uh, the uh, the uh, 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 it is not very secure medium and so on so forth so people some people are talking uh, talking about uh, that also uh, so think about even the companies who are in this field uh, they uh, they have not made their mis uh, their systems uh, uh, fully proof uh, but this is a chance for them to improve them uh higher education uh, needless to say you guys are aware of that the layout has uh, it has disrupted the layout totally from traditional uh, it has forced uh, the uh, uh, the universities across the globe to change their layout uh, layout in all sense even your final exam the layout of the final exam is going to be changed and stuff like that uh, and then of course there will be some challenges but again, these were some things uh, that in good times uh, should have, should have, you know, should have played with them. Uh, but then again, it is easy, easy, easy to say it now because they say hindsight is 2020. When you are in the situation, you, you don't know uh, what to do. It is only after something has happened, you look back and you say, oh, I should have done it like that. I should have done it like that it is not that easy uh, we understand that also uh, but going forward definitely there are some lessons which we which we can and we should take uh, any other concluding remark on this conversation going forward what should be the layout what are some things companies should keep in mind our friends are talking about cost they are talking about new skills Yes, please go ahead. Sir. Hello. Sir? Okay, so sir, this is Phaedra. So my company that we're, that I work with, our unit, our department basically has sent to all the officers. So we're working from home. But what we do use is Skype. So we use Skype for business and we keep in contact. We're also able to see when persons are available and are online. So I need to contact somebody. I just use Skype and I'll just call them directly using the same computer. So layout for us is working. We have meetings, which is very interactive, which can also be via video or calling. And it's Skype. Skype works very well. So we are working from home and it's OK. yes thanks for thanks for this point yes so now you know in going forward maybe the operations manager need to change their thinking that once this thing is over if people want to work from home and they have shown they have demonstrated in this time that they were able to you know work in work, work from home give them some chance not all the days of course you you should come to work that is that is fine i understand that uh, uh, but uh, some days here and there so they give them some flexibility so when this so they are they can work in a better way they can hone the skills skills of working from home uh, that would be that would be good yes any other pointers please go ahead so future direction for layouts uh, for operations managers for plant managers what are your thoughts sir the ministry Hi, are of you education, hearing me? the ministry of education is one of those entities that is going to have to think about their layout in terms of the, say at the primary school level in terms of the delivery of education to students while they are at home you know and i know they had the government had some fuss about tablets and who to get it and all of that but i think they really need to think it out now because i don't see school resuming anytime soon and most students are at home some places don't have um internet access so i don't know how they're gonna find a way around it but those operation persons are going to have to start thinking 
of a way to fix this and to get education to those students who are at home. So think, this is very good. Thanks for this example. So think about, just imagine a school uh, that when the time was, was fine before coronavirus, they just uh, uh, tried this, this online medium and they said, all right, uh, every uh, one day uh, per week or uh, every one day, uh, 15 days or every one day a month, uh, the teachers will be engaging with students in this online medium or help them with the homework, something on online. Uh, so they are familiar with this platform and have some competency on that. Imagine that if there were some schools like that. So in this time, when this thing happened, they would be just ready, just ready uh, to launch their initiative. Manager in, is really to look on the, technolo the technology aspect of the business. So for example, this has allowed for financial institutions, they have been trying their best to move persons away from, from coming in the branches on a daily basis. And they have been urging persons to use the, the other, to use the ATMs, to use the other external equipment that the bank has provided. And what this has, with the impact of the coronavirus, normally businesses, they ask for a lot of checks. They send you manual instructions to get checks written. So this has forced them now to go online, use the business online banking platform. They can pay their suppliers via the, the online system. They can send their wire transfers via the online system. So they don't have to send their bearers in the bank anymore. So this has really forced persons to understand and appreciate the different methods that they can, they can really ensure that they have business continuity. So the way forward for me, technology, how can we decrease our carbon footprint, but at the same time, ensuring that business continues? Excellent, excellent pointers, like, like always. Thank you very much for this. So I think this is, this is very good concluding remarks for this, this talk. A uh, couple of things we should pay particular attention as our friend is talking about technology. So there is no way we can close our eyes from understanding different technologies. I understand we are uh, in different, you know, in different mindsets. Uh, some people are not very much into technology. Some people are uh, depending on their background and so on. But for all of us, uh, we need to understand the technology is relevant uh, with our business or with our job, whatever it is, not just the technology which are which are being used. No. Uh, that you must know, but new technologies, new emerging technologies, what is what other tools are there? So for example, Skype is there, uh, Zoom is there, that is fine. And our other friend was saying that Skype is working working fine and so on, that is, that is good. But what are other tools to engage? Uh, new things are coming and many new technologies will come uh, in the future, especially as we recover from uh, COVID-19. So that is really going to change the change the layout of how we work, uh, how we play, how we live, everything is going to uh, fundamentally change. So one point which I'm taking is technology. We really need to keep an eye uh, on the future uh, technologies which are being introduced in our sector. Maybe we are working in a, in a hi-fi bank uh, like NCB or Scotia Bank and they are up in the game. Uh, but still there are many other technologies which they are not using and they are new. So we want to learn them uh, before they are launched uh, by our banks, for, by our universities, by our institutions. Uh, so when they launch it, uh, we are someone in the organization who are, who are giving training to our colleagues. Uh, this, will, uh, this will give us a lot of benefits. Uh, particularly myself, I can, I can say, I can share this with you that because of my understanding of these type of technologies, in the last one month, I got a lot of recognition from my peers, from my superiors all over the university. Many people uh, knew me uh, before, but uh, uh, a lot more uh, know, know me now because of this understanding and so on. 
so this uh, this always helps uh, if you are interested in the job and you are you are learning these type of technologies uh, please do that and it is going to help you that was one thing and another thing which which i'm taking from uh, the concluding remarks our friend made is we did not speak about that that is extremely important she used the term uh, carbon uh, footprint uh, sustainability that is very high uh, so don't feel that you know uh, things are going in the in a, uh, in a, in a, in a downfall they are going down no this is upward trend because carbon footprint uh, 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 will improve uh, sustainability will improve uh, i'm sure you guys are aware that because of the lockdown in uh, across the globe uh, the climate has improved uh, animal life has improved flora and fauna we uh, which we spoke about but i think i should not be posting you guys now you have seen that but you guys now do some research uh, in your area uh, whatever business field you are in you are in banking or car business or whatever business you are in uh, try to read about layout uh, try to read about what should be the uh, future of the layout in i just want to say that as it relates to the restaurants particularly the ones that you dine in i've been noticing that they have removed all the chairs and the tables but i was saying to myself in a crisis like this they could be making money and uh, because i've been thinking in my mind that the parking lot could be used as an area because you could park and also dine so i've been thinking about it in my mind and sort of toying with the idea but I sort of like it when things get back to normal. Even with, with the correct dining area, they could extend it to the parking lot. So a person could have the meals in the car if they're on a date and just be entertained. And the company would make a profit and everybody would be good. I am I'm loving that idea of uh, dining and having a date in the parking lot. And, you know, that is very romantic. Good thought, Christopher. Um, sir, I think also places like Fontana are doing. I went to Popeyes um, one day this week, and I saw where they have it. They are now doing delivery service, where they had some electric bikes that the guys used to go out and do delivery. And each time the guys come in, they would plug in these electric bikes to ch recharge them. So they have them on like a rotation, and then they have persons calling in, and they. You know, but I, th I thought the investment in the electric bike was a very good idea. 